This is Task for the Weekend, February 6, 2021. This is Susan Bradley for AskWitty.com. Well, in the weekend that I'm also pruning my roses and getting ready for spring, I'm also going to check to make sure that I'm ready to defer quality updates, or what you and I call security updates, or better known as Patch Tuesday, Dead Body Wednesday, you know what I mean. So security patches come out next week, and so I always make sure that I'm ready to go, meaning that I've got a good backup, and that I've got them deferred. And there's different ways you can defer patches, and I'll show you in just a little bit. So, big news for this week is version 2004 is now designated by Microsoft themselves for broad deployment. What that means is they're going to start pushing it out and, and unthrottling it quite a bit on your machine. Um, there's still a couple of issues I've been seeing out there. We still see people who have connects and audio drivers still stuck. The workaround currently is you, the official one from Microsoft is you let the, the 2004 install. It will fail, it will roll back, and you'll try again. Or what you can do proactively is go into Device Manager and move those connexent uh, audio drivers. It will then upgrade properly, and then after you get up to 2004 version, it will download the proper drivers. So that's uh, um, how you can handle that situation. So now on to how to defer updates. There's several ways to do it. My personal preference on my home machines is to look at the calendar and say, hmm, when am I in the mood to deal with patching? When's a good weekend or, or week, usually weekend for me, when's a good weekend that I can deal with patching issues and what I call a maintenance window? And it's when I want to reboot my computer, when I also want to make sure it's backed up, and when I want to deal with issues. At the office, I also have this process where I push it off and it's not done the week of updates and I have a maintenance window. Generally speaking, it's wise to wait at least a week. Usually I'm saying like about 15 days. So what's, what goes on is issues start to bubble up after Patch Tuesday. Usually it takes about till Thursday or Friday before people start reporting issues. Also, enterprises start testing during the week, and normally they do a maintenance schedule, again, closer to the end of the week. So I usually don't start to see trending issues bubble up until like late, late Wednesday, Thursday, and even to Friday. By the time Microsoft gets into the mix where they've opened up cases or enterprises has, have opened up cases, it's usually the weekend. So that's why I always say don't install the week of. If you want to be kind of bleeding edge, you can do that next week. If you want to be safer, keep going out and pushing it out. Again, look at the calendar and see what a good date that you feel that you have to deal with issues. Now, if you remember, I'm changing the patch watch spreadsheets. They're only going to have the month of. And the reason is, my philosophy is by the time I get to the end of the month, I better install those updates or have a really, really, really good reason for not doing that. I'm going to have two spreadsheets and two spreadsheets only. One will be the month of, and the other one will be a master list of those updates I recommend that you do not install. So you'll have, you'll look for the main one for the month, and then the master list of updates that I say, eh, don't ever install these. Right now there's only one, which is that, that um, bootloader one. But again, look for those spreadsheets. In the GUI in Windows Professional, I usually pick a date. So I go into the advanced settings and I pause updates till a specific date. There's a couple of other ways that you can pause updates. You can do what's called the metered network trick. Um, the metered network trick is uh, usually this, this is native or default for cellular based networks. Um, cellular based networks, they know that these cost you money to download updates over a cellular connection. So they let you know that set, that once it senses it's on a cellular connection, it will, it will delay those updates. There's a way to go into the network uh, settings to actually say this one, even though it's on a typical ethernet c connection, pretend you're on a metered network. And that little action makes it 
defer the updates as well. Now many of you I know use the, the process where you click on the button to say pause updates. And then when you're ready to go to updates, you click on the button to unpause them. I personally don't do this. And the reason why I don't do this is because when I unpause the update, the clicking on that button actually triggers a manual check for updates. And that triggers installs. So if there's any additional updates you don't want at that time, let's say, for example, you don't want to have a preview update, that checking for updates will trigger anything that's out there ready to go. So that's one of the reasons why I don't recommend pausing updates. I recommend a date choosing because then that lets down only the security updates and it doesn't trigger those preview updates. So now let's do, the first thing we're going to do is the, what I call the metered network trick. And first off, let's find our little network icon down here. And I go into network and internet settings. And I'm going to change connection properties. And see down here, even though this is on a ethernet, not on a cellular, I can say, hey, pretend you're on a metered connection. And now it will throttle back the updates and won't push them out to me. So that's the first trick you, trick you can do. The next thing I do, like I said, is I go down here into settings, down to update and security, go down to advanced options. And rather than doing the pause, I pause until a date. So I select a date and I, I look at the calendar. I come over here and I go, hmm, when's a good day? So I'm a weekend kind of a patcher myself. So I'm going to say, let's put it off to February 20th. And that's all I need to do. And the reason why I don't do the, the generic pause updates here is when you click on resume updates, it actually triggers the detection of, of checking for updates. And so if there's any pending updates at that time, it'll pull them down. So I'd like, I let the system pick that time after the 20th to install them. As always, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to post down on askwoody.com. Have a great week. Patching will be flipping to DEF CON 2 on Monday, which means we'll be telling you to, to make sure you're paused, make sure you've got your settings properly, make sure that you've got your system backed up, and prepare for Patch Tuesday next week. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for askwoody.com.